When I started as a software developer 12 years ago, I had a lot of questions, but the one that I remember the most was, what does it mean to be a senior developer and a tech lead? How is it different from being an experienced team member who knows all the ins and outs of their language, framework and domain? I've heard various answers, like a senior is a job role, while a tech lead is a team role, or a senior engineer has the expertise to lead technical tasks like design, effort estimations, core reviews, and mentoring. Meanwhile, a tech lead makes technical decisions and handles management tasks like motivation, career guidance, coordination, and planning. Interestingly, you can even be both at the same time. As you can see, drawing the line between these two positions is challenging. They share many qualities, but there is a significant difference. A senior are expected to demonstrate their skills, while the technical lead are expected to master them. In this video, I will highlight several key attributes that, in my opinion, differentiate each role. First, let's talk about expertise. What do you know and how well do you know it? For example, take a programming language. A senior might say, I know language C. I worked with it for some years, so I'm experienced with C. But for a tech lead, the expectations are a bit different. A tech lead needs to identify the optimal way to solve a problem quickly. Whether it's fixing a defect or during a code review, a tech lead will instantly suggest you should try why. This advice is based on their vast domain experience, understanding of the project timeline, and consideration of their teammates' knowledge and growth path. Tech leads usually have a long career and a lot of different experiences. In another video, I already explained the steps on how to become a tech lead. You can check it out if you are interested. Now, let's move on to the next main topic, which is influence. Influence plays a crucial role for both senior engineers and tech leads, but there is a significant difference in the scope and impact between the two roles. As a senior engineer, your influence is primarily within the team. You contribute to technical discussions, mentor junior engineers, and collaborate with other teams on projects. Your technical expertise and experience make you a valuable resource, and your opinion helps shape the team approach to problem solving and project execution. However, as a technical lead, your influence extends much farther. You not only impact your immediate team, but also influence customers, adjacent groups, and the organization's leaders. A tech lead is often seen as the bridge between the technical team and the broader business. This requires excellent communication skills and the ability to convey a complex technical concepts in a way that non-technical stakeholders can understand. For example, a study by Google on effective team leadership highlights the importance of a tech lead's role in fostering collaboration and maintaining open lines of communications across different levels of an organization. The study found that the best technical leads are those who actively listen to their team members, customers and stakeholders, and use this feedback to guide their decisions. This approach not only helps in making informed decisions, but also build trust and respect within the team and across the organization. A tech lead must know when to share information and when to lend an ear. For instance, during a project meeting, a tech lead might present a new solution to a problem and explain its benefit. At the same time, they must be open to feedback from team members and willing to adjust their approach based on the simple. This balancing act of guiding while being receptive to other ideas is vital skill for a leader. Another example is how a tech lead might influence the adoption of a new technology within the organization. This kind of influence requires a deep understanding of both the technical and the business implications and the ability to communicate effectively with diverse groups. Now, let's talk about the most important part, the impact. Impact is about the value you deliver. As a senior engineer, you might find a problem and come up with a solution. You might even solve it yourself. However, as a tech lead, your impact is measured by how you lead the team to a successful resolution. It's about guiding your team to effectively complete the task, ensuring that the solution is implemented correctly and efficiently. For example, consider a scenario where a tech lead identifies a critical bug 
affecting the product performance. While a senior engineer might fix the bug themselves, a tech lead will first analyze the root cause, then delegate tasks to team members based on their strength, and oversee the process to ensure that the issue is resolved thoroughly and promptly. The impact can also come from initiating new ideas or significant refactoring of existing code to improve product quality. For example, a tech lead might propose a new feature that no one thought of, which could significantly enhance the user experience and provide a competitive edge. Or they might lead a major refactoring project to streamline the code base, making it more maintainable and scalable. These actions translate into substantial business value as they directly contribute to the product's success and the company's bottom line. A study by Harvard Business Review highlighted that effective tech leads not only possess strong technical skills, but also excel in leadership and communication. They can articulate technical vision and strategy clearly, motivate their team, and create an environment where innovative ideas can flourish. This balanced approach is what differentiates a tech lead from a senior engineer. In this video, I explain the path from developer to tech lead. If you have any questions, want to share your own experience, or just need some advice, feel free to write a comment, I will read all of them. We are all on this journey together, and sharing knowledge is one of the best ways to grow. Thanks for watching, I will see you next video.